وأقول في القرآن ما جاءت به آياته فهو الكريم المنزل وأقول قال الله جل جلاله والمصطفى الهادي ولا أتأول الحمد لله رب العالمين له الحمد الحسن والثناء الجميل وأشهد أن لا إله إلا الله وحده لا شريك له يقول الحق وهو يهدي السبيل وأشهد أن محمدا عبده ورسوله صلى الله عليه وعلى آله وأصحابه والتابعين لهم بإحسان إلى يوم الدين أما بعد وإن ذا مظاهر دنو الهمة ways and forms in which low aspiration manifests inshallah ta'ala today we're going to go into the 17th madhar 17th form or 17th way and that is at taswifu wa ta'jil it is to procrastinate and to delay things and this إذا آف لا يكاد يسلم منها إلا من سلمه الله من أصحاب الهمم العلية والنفوس الأبية والإرادات القوية. This is a, a deep rooted illness that many people are not safe from, and the people that are safe from it are those Allah Subhanahu wa Taala has chosen to give them high aspiration, lofty aspiration. People. Who can never see their nufus, their souls, humiliated and degraded so much that it procrastinates for another day. They have they have what is known as nufus al abiya. They have a strong, determined nafs soul, and they have unwavering conviction in whatever they want to do. Waliradat al qawiya. How many people do we know, brothers and sisters? Who remain upon sins, and their claim is that I will repent. فكم من الناس من يبقى على معصيته مسوفا بالتوبة. He uses repentance as an excuse. I will repent. وكم من الناس من يؤجل أعماله اليومية إلى غد بغير مسوغ ولا مقتضي. How many people? who delay their righteous actions and they delay it for the next day. They say tomorrow, but there's no real reason why you need to delay it for tomorrow. And how many people who their life comes to an end and he was saying, I'll do this tomorrow and I will do this tomorrow and I will do this tomorrow. قَالَ بَعْضُ الْحُكَمَةِ Some of the wise people, they said, التسويف لمن يعلم أن المنية تأتيه بغدة غرور procrastinating to occur from a person who knows that death can come to him any minute is literally you're hallucinating there's something not mentally right about you you know death can come to you any moment and you don't even know when it's going to be and guess what You're procrastinating? You're saying tomorrow like you really think you're going to live till tomorrow? Who told you? Where do you know? Who, what about if you just drop dead now? You're hallucinating. You're deceiving yourself. If you procrastinate and you know with unwavering conviction that death can come to you any moment, any minute, any second, it can come to you. Well, my brothers and sisters, procrastination and delaying things is a da'un udal. It's a cancerous illness. And it comes from وَهُوَ نَاتِجٌ عَنْ ضَعْفِ الْإِرَادَةِ It springs from, it comes from When you have weak conviction, your your irada, your your want for things is very weak, and it comes from dunul hima when you have low aspiration. What taraqi ma'an nafs, and when you surrender to the nafs and you give in to the nafs, and you you lengthen things for the nafs, 
You don't control it. You don't have self-control. You let the nafs control you. And it also comes from وَصُحْبَةِ kusala wal musawifin. When you befriend lazy people, people who their life and their merchant and their funds and their money is all based upon uh, procrastination. And it comes from الْأَمْنُ مِنْ مَكْرِ اللَّهِ um, when a person uh, has in his heart safety and he has this feeling that he is safe, he gives himself this feeling of reassurance. I don't have to worry. And it also comes from وَطُولُ amal, Having wishful thinking. And the consequences that are bad in procrastination and delaying things that you must do in your life is very severe, the consequences, in this world and in the hereafter. وَلِذَلِكَ the poet, he said, فَانْهَضْ إِذَا مَا لَمَحْتَ الْخَيَرَ فِي عَمَلٍ وَخَلِّ سَوْفَ لِعَزْمٍ خَامِنٍ وَاهِي He said, if you see a good in something, you see a good action that you must do, and the time calls for it, leave off sofa. Leave off I will. Leave off that word, I will. And come with the conviction and the determination and go forward and do it. Don't be a person who sees something good that you must do. And you say, I'll do it tomorrow or I'll do it another day. Go forward. I'm going to stop there, inshallah ta'ala. If I said anything wrong or incorrect, it's from me as shaytan. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and his messenger are both free from it. سبحانك اللهم وبحمدي أشهد أن لا إله إلا الله أستغفرك وأتوب إليه السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته How can you do a two second action right now that will give you a share of the reward of everything we're doing on this YouTube channel? Simple, like this video and click subscribe. Why? It will allow YouTube to recommend our videos to other users and imagine the huge amount of reward that could be waiting for you on the day of judgment if you did that with a sincere intention of spreading the deen of Allah. You'll be rewarded for every single person who benefits from one of our videos as a result of your like or subscribe. That's an easy two second action that you definitely don't want to miss out on. Do it now, click like and subscribe and don't forget to make that intention.